So there's a new hockey game coming out. It's called Tape to Tape. We all know that the NHL franchise under EA's tutelage has been slipping a bit. Does Tape to Tape step in and fill the niche? Sort of. I've got some complicated feelings about the game. I didn't get to play the whole thing, only a certain part, and it was sent to me for free by the Tape to Tape team. You should always know that when someone's reviewing a game, whether they paid for it or got it for free. So I like Tape to Tape, but I don't love it. And it's unfortunate because it's on its way to being something really special, but it's really, really lacking in some key areas. And unfortunately, these go all the way down to how the game is played on a core level. I'm a huge fan of indie sports games. One of my favorite sports games, if not my favorite of all time, is Super Mega Baseball. I was hoping we'd see something like that in Tape to Tape, but there's a lot missing. For example, from a gameplay perspective, I get that they wanted to emulate the NHL 94 style of gameplay, but I think the better way to do that is through how the game is paced and played rather than removing features. For example, there's no real way to actually deke in Tape to Tape. I didn't want the NHL shoot stick, but having the right stick on the controller be for deke it just makes too much sense, and it would have worked perfectly in an arcade game like this. On defense, it's hit or switch player, there's no poke check, there's no slide, and in my opinion, that takes away a lot from the game. It makes it way too simplistic, and it also makes offense a lot less fun as well, in my opinion. I think the best way to have had the game structured would be keep this style of paced gameplay, high scoring, big hits, but still add the possibility for complexity. Unique deking, different shots types, etc. Another thing I really didn't like about the gameplay was that there's no offsides, there's no icing, that makes things even more of a crapshoot in my opinion. There's a lot I did like though, I think the visuals are excellent. Obviously the rank and the puck are 3D, but the players are 2D and it gives the game a really cool look. While there is obviously just a basic play now feature, the game is also a self-described roguelite. I only got to play a little bit of this, but what it means is you take your team, you get power-ups, better gear, better items and you see how far you can go before you lose and then when you lose you can spend money I believe to upgrade your team permanently. If you've ever played a game like Hades that's basically the archetype for a roguelite. This mode is really fun I'm looking forward to see how it's expanded in the full game. For example you play a team made up of referees and for me they waved off a goal for absolutely no reason and they counted one of their own goals which didn't go in. You don't see things like that in regular gameplay. Other power-ups would have the ref just lay hits on the enemy team occasionally. It would have the puck take funny bounces towards the player. One thing that I found really frustrating though is that a lot of the fun things that I would like to see in the game on a base level were tied in this player special ability system. For example, there's one player that can use really fast spinoramas. There is a way you can sort of skate backwards and do a spinorama, but not this fun. There's also apparently a quick sprint feature where you get a short burst of speed. That's something I think would have worked exceptionally well in the game as sort of a base feature, especially where there's still a lot of real estate on the controller, which just isn't used. Otherwise, it does seem like there are some features that I would have liked lacking, and I don't want to be too critical because it seems like this game might be priced pretty cheaply. I don't think we know the actual price right now. I would have really liked to see a create a team mode, especially where the art style is so cool. Give us a basic logo maker, give us all the bandanas and glasses and stuff, and let us make a team of five players. That was actually my favorite thing about Super Mega Base. I would make an entire roster, a full baseball roster of all me, my friends, and it was just super fun. I'd be like, oh, Mike got his home run, first one of the season. There's also no online multiplayer, and I'm guessing that's just because they're an indie team. There is, however, couch co-op and couch competitive multiplayer. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the game. From what I played, a step in the right direction. I'm glad there's another player in the hockey video game scene. There's also one for the Switch that I play sometimes. It's called like Blood Sports, I believe but they need to add more. There needs to be more complexity, and I hope that this game sells well enough and gets a niche enough fan base that they can go on and make a sequel. And if they do, listen, I'd be happy to lend my talents in marketing the game, whatever you guys want, if we can get it to that next level. But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours down below.